Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today on How to Cook, we will be making some cheesy pretzel dogs. This recipe is easier than you think and will satisfy all your mall pretzel cravings. Before we begin, check out the list of ingredients needed for today's recipe on the right side of your screen. You want to start by prepping your pretzel dough. You want to dissolve two tablespoons worth of sugar into a cup of warm water. You want to make sure your water is not boiling hot, but just lukewarm, something that's about the temperature of a bath or a shower. Um, I usually just place it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. And then once that water is warm and the sugar is all dissolved, you want to add in your yeast. And I'm just using a packet of yeast and get that incorporated and then we'll let it sit for five minutes. If you see your yeast kind of foaming and bubbling, that's how you know it's being activated. If you're using too hot of water, it won't activate properly. Once your yeast is fully activated, you want to add in half of your flour mixture into the bowl before adding your yeast. Once you've done that, you can add the rest of your flour and then salt and butter into the mixing bowl. I like to layer in my wet and dry ingredients so it doesn't get too messy. Slowly combine everything before you start to increase your speed. So you don't need a stand mixer for this recipe, but it's extremely easy if you do and you have a um, bread hook or a dough hook. Um, but continue to combine it. The dough needs to feel smooth and can be easily pulled away from the side of the bowl. This should take about four to five minutes to mix. And then once you're done, you'll wanna remove your dough and then oil up your bowl and then let your dough rest for one hour or until the dough doubles in size. Now we will want to start prepping our assembly line. Make sure your hot dogs are dried off and feel free to use your favorite hot dog brand. I like using a standard ballpark hot dog or beef hot dog. Make sure to also preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and line a large baking sheet with parchment paper or some sort of non-stick baking sheet and kind of have that right next to your station before we start rolling up the hot dogs. As you can see, my dough has doubled in size and the dough should feel smooth and it shouldn't stick to your hands too much. If it still feels a little bit sticky, add a little bit extra flour and you wanna make sure you knead out all the air bubbles and kind of form it into a nice ball. Let the dough rest for a few minutes as you boil up some water. So you wanna boil about five cups of water and you'll be kneading this later in the recipe right before we bake the pretzel dog. This dough recipe should make about 10 pretzel dogs depending on the size of your actual hot dog. As you're boiling the water, you'll want to cut the dough ball into 10 equal pieces. I like to split the dough in half and work in sections. And once you have them in kind of even sections, roll out each piece of dough into long, thin, rope-like sections. You will want the rope of dough to be about 15 to 20 inches long. Again, depending on how long your hot dogs are, that might mean more or less dough. As I'm stretching out the dough, I like to use gravity in the surface below to help evenly stretch out the dough, keeping it more uniformed and as consistent as possible. Cheese is completely optional, but I would highly recommend using cheese in this recipe. I'm just using a slice of sharp cheddar cheese. Wrap your hot dog with a slice of your favorite cheese and starting at the end, you'll wanna wrap the dough around the hot dog and then pinching and forming it um, and sealing it at the ends together. Place it on the pan and repeat the remaining dough and dogs. Do not be afraid to stretch out the dough around the hot dogs. The dough should be extremely pliable and if you have any leftover dough, you can always shape it into a mini pretzel. Once you finish rolling up the pretzel dogs, you wanna pour the hot water into a pan and combine it with the baking soda. This solution will create the pretzel crust, so do not skip this step. 
You'll want to place the pretzel dogs into the water and baking soda mix. It just needs to be well coated with the solution for about 30 seconds. Once you see that the pretzel has expanded, return it to the baking tray and finish coating the remaining pretzels um, with the water and baking soda solution. To get that perfect golden crust, mix together one egg, give it a thorough whisk, make sure it's well combined, and then you want to brush the egg mixture on top of your pretzels and then give it a very generous sprinkle of coarse sea salt. Bake the pretzel dogs on 400 degrees for about 10 to 13 minutes. You want the pretzel dogs to have a dark golden brown color. I have a timer set for 9 minutes so that I can keep an eye on them to ensure that they do not burn. You'll be able to smell the delicious pretzel aromas. Um, once they are golden brown, you'll want to remove it from the oven and give it a generous coating of melted butter. There's never enough butter, so be very liberal with the butter. But there you have it, easy, tasty pretzel dogs at home. This is a great summer recipe and you will definitely impress everyone who has one. The pretzel dogs are best served hot and with your favorite hot dog condiments like mustard or ketchup. Seriously, try this recipe, it is delicious. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button to my channel. I'll be sharing a new video recipe every single week. Let me know what you think in the comments below and happy cooking.